Please note that this video has spoilers for the subject. The House of the Dead 3 Game Thoughts. So, yeah, it was Daniel all along. 19 now, or no, wait, he's been there for 19 years. So, yeah, he's been in this massive building for 19 years. By himself? Okay, so was he the one running the whole zombie thing? If so, why did he... Yeah, why, why? Why did he run the zombie thing? Or if it wasn't him, then who was it and where are they? Did he kill them? Why didn't he try to kill the Wheel of Fate by himself? He was the one hacking it. What, did he just desperately need a second person with a shotgun there? You know... Could he have tried to contact someone on the outside and, you know, say, hey, someone come in here with a shotgun and try to, you know, yeah. The, but, but yeah, and, you know, how has he survived and how have they survived for the two weeks, you know, is there a food dispenser somewhere in the building? Why didn't the zombies get them, you know, if... It can, is, is Daniel, okay, fair enough, maybe Daniel didn't have a shotgun, well, actually, I'm pretty sure, yeah, G had one, so presumably he could use his, but yeah, anyway, you know, did the security guard not hurt him because it seemed to only knock out the other two? Did he have any power over it? Could he have, you know, gone between them in time and they wouldn't have hurt him? Yeah, a lot of unanswered questions. And this, you know, this is the only of the three where you don't end up seeing, you know, the guy behind it all, and he, you know, doesn't either die by his own, you know, yeah, he, and and die through some means. I'm not gonna spoil the other games. So, yeah, I, I guess they wanted to do something different, but instead it just ends up nonsensical. You know, and then you have the big moral of, you know, believe in yourself, Lisa, I finally understand what that means. Well, could you share it with the rest of us, you know? Is this something that the entire class should hear? I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. What, you know, believe in yourself. What? And then, you know, you have the, the, the other sort of moral by not Curian, you know, the, the Wheel of Fate, which is a complete rip-off of, you know, it, it moves and attacks in the same way as Magician. You know, what, what is that? Is it, is it supposed to be an homage? It's just, it feels lazy. Why even make a third game if you're not going to put effort into it? Anyway, yeah, he talks about how, you know, this is the world you humans wanted. Come again? What 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 in the world does that even mean? And then he goes on to say, you know the world is overpopulated. Point being, yeah, and and you're trying to solve it with zombies? Are you are you saying that everybody should be a you know monster inside a you know computer? What is his point? What is, what is what is he getting at? I don't even care if it necessarily makes sense or not. I'm, I'm used to things in these games not making any kind of sense. I just want to know what the crap he's talking about. And, you know, you have the, oh, the future belongs to the, you know, the next generation. And I guess that's a fine enough point, but I also don't see how that relates to, you know, Curian, you know, saving his son, which I guess he actually did, you know, so I guess it's not all bad what he did, because he did manage to save his son, you know, and, and there aren't even any obvious side effects. Is that why Daniel stayed around to, you know, sort of, I don't know, to, did he feel guilty about, you know, he felt like he had to continue his father's operation? If he didn't continue his father's operation, why was he there? Was he, you know, keeping the Wheel of Fate from bursting out. I also don't see how, you know, the Magician, sure. The Emperor, absolutely. The Wheel of Fate, it's a computer. How is it gonna take over the world? Of course. I just... A virus? I don't know. How, how is it gonna af affect that? You know, when you see the Magician in the first game, you're like, yeah, that thing, I need to stop it. When you see the Emperor in the second game, you're like, why am I fighting a see-through jester?
But then you're thinking, you know, okay, sure, I guess it could take over the world. It looks really powerful, and it, you know, shows that it has power. But with this one, I just, I have no idea how that's going to work. And just, you know, yeah, why did it suddenly start? You know, did something activate it? Did someone activate it? Did Daniel suddenly mess up? Did, did his hacking attempt, you know, unleash all the zombies? Have there been zombies there for 20 years? Have, you know, has he been surrounded by zombies for 20 years? Did he send them out for pizza when he got hungry? I, yeah, so many questions. If you can think of more, feel free to share them down below. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.